June the 7th, 2020. As you're looking at satellite images over the Gulf, and uh, what we're seeing is Crystal Ball is just the top tip of it's coming ashore down in the uh, Louisiana area. The top right quadrant is still throwing wind and rain around through Mississippi, Mobile, but the most rain of the whole storm so far this week has been Florida, and it continues to be that. Look at this uh, as it becomes daylight here. Look at the amount of moisture going through there. But now, outside of uh, New Orleans, they've got a couple pumps down. Inside New Orleans seems to be okay. I just checked down with uh, the TV station there. But uh, right outside of they're worried about uh, right outside of the sea where the levee systems are they're worried about some flooding now now one thing about the storm we mentioned it yesterday that it was staying dry around the center it's getting a little wetter but most of it's continued to throw off to the right and i don't know what the total for the week guys somebody in florida if you if you know what it's been in some of your cities let me know but we're still at 50 miles an hour we're still in in uh, the 994 millibar range as far as pressure. But again, notice the last couple frames. Got that turn to the uh, west. And this uh, outflow of this goes up through Mississippi and all across the uh, east coast, guys. Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, parts of North Carolina. You should be getting a very good um, wind out of the west. But so far, because of this lower system here is again let it come back to daylight is in the lower uh white it is drier than it would be normally and that's a blessing for new orleans i'm not saying there's not going to be flooding they're already talking about it i think it was wdsu the tv station there but um it's so far so good now we're, let's take a look at a couple webcams I'm still seeing the camera rock a little in Bay St. Louis, guys, but earlier, about 30 minutes ago, it was heavier rain coming in, so it's just these sections of uh, rain bands is what we're looking at. Uh, so far, so good. Down on the coast, they had uh, some uh, minor flooding. That's still going on because the brunt of the storm still has not come through this section. In other words, as that center spins down near the Mississippi River, it's all being thrown this way. And also, let's look at Bourbon Street. Same thing's happening here. Bands of rain coming in. As the center gets closer, that may become more intense. But as far as I can find out, the pumps in the city are working. Guys, if you're not familiar with New Orleans, it's below sea level. It's in a bowl. That's why Katrina was so devastating. But the pumps there are working. They do have one outside of the main city area that is not working. A generator went down. And uh, they've issued a few flood uh, watches and warnings in that area. And we'll look at the National Hurricane, I mean, excuse me, the National Weather Center for some of that. Now, the problem it looks like to me is going to be the flooding. You see flash flood warnings and watches up the Mississippi River all the way through um, North Mississippi over into Arkansas. And you got the Arkansas River that comes into the system there. Offshore, you still have tropical storm warnings. And the, you got. Um, Along the coast here, I know it's a little hard to see, but the purple areas are surge watches and warnings. But uh, you've got a tornado watch right here, guys, just on top of the Mobile Bay. Severe thunderstorm warnings uh, below that. Also in Florida, all along the coast here, you got two severe thunderstorm warnings. Now, this is changing to tornadoes right there, guys. You've got uh, coming into Mississippi, Mobile Bay is here, but coming into this would be the Pascagoula area, Jackson County, if I'm not mistaken, and two tornado warnings, guys. This was going to be the problem the whole time, water spouts and tornadoes as it came ashore. Let me say this, uh, as the day heats up, it's 9.33 p.m. Central Time. As the day heats up, this activity could continue. It could get worse. But you can see where it's at. New Orleans is here, Hattiesburg, Mississippi here. you got Gulfport, Biloxi. Ocean Springs, Pascagoula, over here you got Bay St. Louis, and uh, Long Beach. As in, a tornado can be more devastating than a hurricane but in a small area. So all of my friends on the coast, keep an eye on this. And as the storm moves west and north, you're going to watch this. This is that north quadrant, the top right quadrant of the storm. Again, Mobile Bay, you got uh, marine watches and warnings through here. It's just like a severe thunderstorm warning over the water and watch for this throughout the day. 
this is reaching all the way over almost to the Pensacola area. You're right in the Orange Beach Perdido a section as far as the outside edge of this. So pay very close attention that through the day. We're watching it, guys. Any more tornado updates, anything like that comes in, we're going to put it up. You just keep your heads down and be safe.